what is rule 1 of GDNT and what does this rule has to do with the form control. My name is Kevin Kuto and in this video we are going to understand rule 1 of GDNT in details. Do subscribe, like and press the bell icon so that you never miss any learning video from Design Cakes. Without any further delay, let's deep dive into this topic. Let's begin this video by understanding what are limit of sizes and what is local size. So limit of size are two limits within which a actual local size is allowed to vary and still functionally acceptable. Like in this case, we have 20 plus minus 0.5. So 19.5, 20.5 are two limits of size for this particular feature of size and this part is allowed to vary between 19.5 to 20.5 and still functionally acceptable. On other hand, the actual local size is the actual value of any individual distance at any cross section of feature of size as shown here. So we can measure this part here, here, here or at any cross section and that will be called as an actual local size. So we can get many actual local size on a single feature of size and each actual local size has to be within the limits of size in order to accept this part as a functional part. So now that we understand what is limit of size, let's understand what is the rule 1 of GDNT. This rule 1 of GDNT is also called as a perfect form at MMC or envelope rule. This rule states that when individual feature of size as we have shown here where only a tolerance of size is specified and no geometrical control is specified, size tolerance itself controls the form of that feature. It means that no surface element on this feature shall extend beyond the boundary or envelope of perfect form at maximum material condition. Now you must know what is maximum material condition. Maximum material condition is the condition of this feature of size where it will have maximum material on it. Now for example the highest size of the external feature of size will have maximum material on it. So this part will have maximum material when it is produced at 20.5. That's why 20.5 is the maximum material condition for this feature of size. So when this part is produced at maximum material condition that means 20.5 local size that's where zero form error is allowed. That means we need perfect form at MMC. But as the local size deviates from maximum material condition we are going to allow equivalent amount of form error at that particular cross section. To demonstrate that here we have little more explanation. So here we have part which is 20 plus minus 0.5 and this is external feature of size. So the maximum material condition is 20.5 and the least material condition is 19.5. So when this part is produced at maximum material condition that means 20.5 as per rule 1 we are going to have perfect form at MMC that means zero form error is allowed. But as this part is produced at 20.2 that means 0.3 deviation from the maximum material condition then we are going to get equivalent amount of form error and still this part will be functionally acceptable. Similarly if this local size further reduces that means it will be at 20 then we are going to allow 0.5 error that means 20.5 minus 20 and if this part is produced at LMC that means 19.5 we are going to have the maximum amount of error which is defined by the size tolerance. To demonstrate it further, this is a visual representation. So 28.5 is the maximum material condition. And this is the produced part. Now we have little exaggerated it. So you can see that when this local size is measured 28.5, we cannot go outside the boundary of MMC. That means zero form error is allowed. But as we move to the other cross sections and as this actual produced local size is lesser than maximum hotel condition equivalent amount of form error is allowed. When this part is produced at 27.5 local size that's where 
maximum of 1 mm form error is allowed 28.5 minus 27.5 that is 1 mm similarly this part can bend also in that condition also our understanding is not going to change so we are going to have 28.5 mmc and we are going to have perfect form at mmc but as local size deviates from this we are going to get equivalent amount of form error the same understanding is there for the internal feature of size or hole or cutout as well so as you can see this cutout is 28 plus minus 0.5 so what is the maximum material condition here 27.5 because when this hole becomes smaller that's when it will have maximum material on it so as it is shown here the 27.5 is the maximum material condition so when this hole is produced at 27.5 maximum material condition we are going to have zero form error allowed but when this hole becomes bigger towards the least material condition equivalent amount of form error will be allowed at that local size so here if the maximum produced size is 28.5 that is least material condition the form error allowed here will be 28.5 minus 27.5 which is nothing but 1 mm similarly this hole can have bend like this but again our interpretation is not going to change so still we are going to have perfect form at mmc and wherever we are going to have a size which is higher than mmc we are going to get equivalent amount of form error at that local size now understand that rule 1 is applied only to the solid parts if the part is flexible like rubber then rule 1 cannot be applied rule 1 cannot be also applied to the standard sizes like we have stock sizes or piping sizes or tubing sizes we cannot apply this rule to them because there are separate standards which govern them now can we override this rule one yes only straightness and flatness form control can override rule one we can use independency modifier or the note like perfect form at mmc is not required or associating flatness or straightness with this feature of size that means now the form control will be at the center or the derived median line and derived median plane will be controlled in that case we can override rule one if you find this content useful help us by subscribing to the youtube channel and liking this video if you have any further questions you can write them into the comment section of this video thank you for watching this video and bye for now